Look at how scary that picture is, too. That is too. fucked up. Have you ever saw that doing an exorcism? Wouldn't you just quit? No. <laughs> I've seen some weird shit, man. Like, you gotta remember, like, that was, um... I did that for so long. Like, I saw some real interesting stuff. And, uh, so something like that would probably, um, not be that big a deal to me. I have to sneak off camera so that I can vape. I don't want everyone to know that I'm gay. Also known as Slander Man. Drink. I was going to get in the closet and stay in there. (laughs) But then you came out of the closet. (laughs) I came out of the closet. You there? You're on the air. (laughs) No, that's our line. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. (laughs) What's the weirdest conspiracy that you that you think is real? Like the one that, like you know, like if I were to say I think the Earth is flat, you know, I don't, I don't. but they I make mean, a they make a compelling argument. But like, if you cl- let's be honest, okay, climb to the top of Everest, which I have not done, and you can see the curvature of the Earth. I mean, so come on. You can see the curvature of the Earth from a ship. You I know, know, like but, you from seven nautical miles out. But the the flat earthers make a compelling argument. I'll give them that. <laughs> like, what what's the argument? I don't even listen to it. Uh, you you have to listen to it. Maybe we'll do a whole episode okay. on that. But it's it's a lot of fun to listen to them because. You know, you sit there, and unless you're someone... I mean, you could sit there and debate them all day, but and it's, it's pretty simple. Here's the thing. If the, floor, if, 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 the, if the world was flat, you would eventually travel to a point where there'd be no more world, correct? Unless... So, imagine this. Imagine that the Earth is a disk, okay? Like they say it is. And you walk in what you think is a straight line because of what... You know, say you're holding a compass... And this compass is pointing you west. And you think, if I just keep traveling west, eventually I'm going to hit the edge of the world or whatever, right? So how do you determine what is a straight line? Cardinal directions, right? That's how we would determine what a straight line is. Now, if the polar uh, north or magnetic north is telling us that north is that way and we're trying to head west... And we're following it. It's going to keep pointing north, right? If we're heading west, even if we're traveling in kind of a circle. And how do we determine if we're going straight? We're humans. We, you know, we make errors. It's impossible for us to know if we're going straight. We know if we're going straight-ish because we don't veer one way or the other. But have you ever tried walking and you realized you were kind of drifting? So I think that's the argument. Is the only way we really know that. Uh, that we're traveling in a straight direction is with a compass and making sure we're shooting the right ads. So I'm assuming these people believe we have not been in space. I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I and again, like I said, you have to like listen to them argue. Some of them say that we have. Some of them say that we haven't. Some of them say that the images are fake. Some of them say that they uh, that even the images prove that the Earth is flat. I will it's say really this weird. though: Why is it that we can see stars at night? But when they're in space, they every vi- every video picture you have in space, you don't really see you stars. You don't see the stars. Um, I think just because the stuff, like okay, when you're in space and you're looking and you see the Earth, right? And you're say you're in the ISS, so the International Space Station. What takes up most of the, your field of vision? You know what I mean? Earth, right? And if you look the other way. I mean, they don't really take a lot of pictures of just deep space. Nothing. They, that's what the Hubble telescope is for, and that sees more because it zooms in. But if you're looking out the window and you see Earth, Earth takes up your entire field of vision, so you're not going to see any stars that way. Plus, if you're, I think, just because you're, you know, I don't know, it has. That's that's again, that's something that I'm not intelligent enough on it to debate, which is the problem I have with flat earthers is I have enough to where I can kind of hold a conversation with them, but they've obviously done their research more than I'm willing to <laughs> to to debate them because I won't I won't entirely entertain. I'll entertain them, but I won't entirely buy into their discussion because a lot of times they're doing it again I think it's just to troll people just to mess with people which I think is hilarious I'm all for that but back back to the original question 
What is your weirdest conspiracy? That I believe. That you believe. That Paul McCartney died in 1966. <laughs> so tell tell the audience while we're while we're here while we have all uh, five, five people that are watching. Tell so, them about Paul McCartney. So this conspiracy is that Paul McCartney of the Beatles, the original Paul McCartney of the Beatles, died in 1966, and you know obviously when the Beatles were on their rise, he died in 1966. And the Paul McCartney that we have now is not the original Paul McCartney of the Beatles. So anyways, uh, so Paul McCartney is not the original Paul McCartney at the end of the day. And and they've t- they've taken f- photos of the original Beatles Paul McCartney and they've overlined it with the pa- Paul McCartney that we have today and they don't match up at all. So there's my, and I believe that Elvis didn't die. You don't think that Elvis is dead? No, I don't think Tupac is either. <laughs> I don't think Tupac is dead. I said which one conspiracy? So which? So that Paul McCartney one? Pretty is much. The one? If there's a conspiracy, I believe it. <laughs> you were supposed to be the skeptic on the show. I know it didn't happen that way. <laughs> and you came on, and you're even more believe like more uh, gullible than I am. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I think we're equally gullible on this show. I think sure. we're trying to be. Uh, that's a fun. I had never heard that one about that. Well, that's like that whole Berenstain, Berenstain Bears, the Mandela effect, right? Uh, I think that's that kind of falls into the same category. We're having an issue. We got to try to bring this guy back in. Let's see. So that dude, uh, so that dude with the with the name that shall not be mentioned, <laughs> as he was referred to, he reported this guy, Mike from Manitoba. I wish I knew how to unblock people. Well, he got blocked by Periscope? Yeah, so what happened was... Did you go to unblock him? No, it won't let me unblock him. Yeah, that, that troll that was in here, I guess, dude told him to read a book. Mike from Manitoba, who was like... What's frustrating is Mike from Manitoba is a fan of the show, and he's been listening... Uh, I know he listens to the yeah. show previously. Uh, he had told the dude to read a book and then he got blocked and he's now he thinks it was us that blocked him which is <laughs> even worse because it's like he was he was taking our side on the whole discussion and then he gets blocked but anyways you think you blocked him on he think, yeah, he, no, this, no he thinks that Lexi, we blocked Lexi said oh. she so I think Lexi was you were trying to block the other guy right Lexi and you accidentally blocked Mike <laughs> from Manitoba <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, he'll he'll yeah. he'll get over it. We'll get him back on here somehow. But go ahead, continue with the Paul McCartney. Um. So yeah. So poor Mike. I know we have to get Mike. We have to figure out getting him back in here. But we'll figure it. He's back. Okay. He's back. There we go. Okay. He's back. The question is, can he comment? If you can comment, Mike, sh- shoot us something. He could share some hearts. But um. Uh, yeah, Mike. If you missed it, she was trying to block that other guy, and she accidentally blocked uh, hit block on you. Um, we were just talking about you, Mike. So if your ears were burning, it was because we were talking. <laughs> yeah, we're we just talking. spent the last couple minutes trying to figure out how to get you back on the show. In a comment. 